Welcome once again to my iMovie 09 series, and in this video, I am going to show you how to play with audio, add audio, cut, paste, move around, mangle in all kinds of weird, twisted ways. All right, so we come down here, just come to the music button, and you can add music from your iTunes library if you want, but make sure it's stuff you own, not stuff that, if, especially if you're going to put it out there in the public for people. Otherwise, you can create your own stuff in GarageBand, which is a really nice program. There are some iMovie sound effects. If you click on that, and it shows them down here below. Let me pull this up. And you can click on it and hit play. Ambient effect. So there's lots of these different sound effects that you can add. Door close. Door open. So there's lots of different effects that you can add. In the iLife sound effects, it's kind of nice. You click in there, let me pull this down a little bit, and you've got some categories like ambience, animals, booms. You click on the ambience, and there's different ones. Thunderclap. Ah! Happy Halloween, everyone. Ocean surf, night camp, jungle, lots of different sounds that you can get in there. Um, there's little jingles. <laughs> Ah, let me pull that up so I can view a little more of this. Barbecue medium, barbecue blues, break beat. Sounds like opening of a news segment to me. So there's lots of these different effects. Let me choose one that's simple. Campfire. Oh boy, could I get more? How about celestial body? That sounds a little more like what we're doing with Mars. So there you go. So if you want to add that to your project, all you got to do is simple. It's drag and drop. You just click on it, you drag it over here, and you drop. And there you go. Let me zoom out just a little bit here on this. So there's the music. And if I got it in the wrong place, don't worry. You just slide it over. Let's move it over here. I want it over here. I want it to come in with that clip or say, actually, I want it to come in right as soon as we come to the big Mount Vesuvius. Oh, that looks good. Let me just drag it over just a tad bit. If I want to make a more detailed edit, you know, you slide this over. And then you can slide this to get it exactly where you want it to start. There we go. Let's see, what it, see how it looks. Huge uh, tectonic features and gigantic volcanoes. I mean, Olympus Pond is one of the largest volcanoes. And of course, they have some audio already in there. But you notice how that other audio, you can still hear them very well? Well, I can even double click on this one and I can go to audio and I can say reduce the volume of the other track so you do hear the music and you don't hear the other guys. I did that on my video that I showed uh, in the first video. Uh, with the launching of the shuttle. I wanted that volume to be down until the music was over and then it would play the and now we're launching the shuttlecraft's anniversary, something like that. So it'll duck the others and you can reduce how much, like it's 15% is the default, but you can say I don't want it to go down that much, just a little bit. But maybe you do want 15%. Click done. Let's see how it changes, how it sounds different now. Maybe still too high. You could adjust that even more if you wanted. And I'm going to say audio. And I'm going to duck that all the way down to zero. And now we shouldn't hear them at all. Hey, Danny, volcanoes. That's completely gone. I can also adjust under audio, as we did before, the fade in and the fade out. And you can go to manual and say, let's make it last about one and a half seconds. Click done. Hey, volcanoes. Somehow we lost the audio on that a little bit. Put that in automatic. Now I can also, <clears throat> I can also on the audio is actually, you know, adjust the fade in and fade out on that just like I would any other audio that we talked about previously. Now, you can also drag audio from, separate audio from a clip. For instance, 
I'm going to go ahead and delete that music we just did. But in this clip right here, I can right click, let me zoom out just a little bit. I can right click on this and say detach audio. And now the audio is separate from the video. So then I can come over here and I can trim this out, or trim up the beginning let's say. Okay, I got to select what I want to get rid of. And we want to keep Mount Vesuvius, but get rid of the other part. Hit delete. Now that's gone. So now I have this audio clip and I can move it and put it anywhere I want. It can be the narration for the rest of my video. As I drag other clips in, that audio from that video, if all I needed was the audio, I've got it right there. And I can pop that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Because what I want to point out to you next is how you can record your own narration like I did. Now it would be better to try to do it in, you know, with really nice microphones, not just a webcam mic. But if that's all you got, that may be fine. And you do that with that little record button. You might have wondered what that button was. Well, that's for a microphone. And you click on that and you can record yourself. I don't have a microphone hooked up here, but you see the little volume level sliding along here. Uh, to, so you can adjust your input volume to make sure it's not going into the red. You want it to be green and yellow. You don't want it popping into the red. The red is too loud. It's going to come out a little bit distorted. It'll sound really bad. Don't do that. And the voice enhancement is actually a nice feature. It does help to make your voice sound a little bit better. Very simple task to be able to do that. Now with that advanced features that we have, like here's that rocket launch. If I wanted, I can select a clip and I can drag it over top of another clip like this one right here. And I can choose audio only and that way I add only the audio and it's right underneath here for the shuttle launch. And if I got it in the wrong place, no big deal. I can just slide it around and get it in the exact location where I want it. And come over here and play. And flies to the space station. There we go. And I can actually trim it. I can get to the edge. You see this? And I slide that over. And there you go. I trimmed it down to the part I want. And I can again zoom in to make a more detailed cut. So I get exactly what I want and get rid of everything I don't want. So hopefully you have a, a good idea of how to do audio editing. You know how, now know how to take an audio from a clip and add it to your project. You know how to extract audio from a clip that's already in your project. You know how to add some sound effects, some jingles and things like that that come with iMovie. Um, as well as how to add some music from something like iTunes. So that's the way you can do that. We've already talked about how to lower the volume on certain clips or how to raise the volume on certain clips. That you can do that with the adjustment setting through that inspector button. Very powerful tool, that inspector button. That is your friend. Uh, I have no clips selected right now. But if you choose one, you click that, it gives you gobs of options of things that you can do. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing I can think left that you would want to do in your videos is maybe Put your name to it since it's looking so good. You might want to add a title or transitions or little lower thirds, those types of things. I'm going to show you that in my next video on iMovie 09.